going on everybody today i got amd this stock uh, is looking really good for a swing trade got an earning report coming up next week and uh yeah so just like to remind you to subscribe hit the bell so you get the notifications and like this video let's get right into amd so intel stock is dropping right now because they just had their uh fourth quarter revenue report and uh their stock's basically dropping because they're losing customers to amd so this is really good for us so right here, uh, big chips earnings preview. Intel, AMD, you already know Intel did not do good. AMD, let's go down here, right here. Shares which fell sharply following the quarter three earnings release are expected to exceed expectations this quarter, primarily due to rival Intel's supply shortages. AMD is looking pretty, pretty good. So in case you don't know much about AMD, uh, in 2020, AMD, currently the supplier for Sony's PlayStation 4 and Microsoft Xbox One. So this is probably going to end up happening in 2020. I'd probably say about 85% sure that this is going to happen, and this is going to make AMD run up really good. This is 2020, so if you wanted to hold this till then, go right ahead. Here's AMD's website. You can see they do a lot of computer stuff. That's basically all they really do. And they also make video games too. So they make computer video games. And here's some of their gaming products. Some video games. I don't know any of these games. I don't I don't play games anymore. So they got the price target here going for $23.95. And I can show you why that is going for $23.95. All right, so here's AMD's chart. They have a high of 34. Whoops, got the rubber band thing going. Get it out of there. Get, okay. All right, so the high of 34, and right now they're at 2067. And you can see it's kind of in a channel right now. And let me show you what I'm talking about when they said 23. Zoom in here. So this is what they're talking about, 23. It was, I think it was 2360 something. So they're basically saying this right here. I'm going to draw it. This is what the resistance is going to be. So they're, they're thinking that it's going to pop up to here, and then it's going to bounce off of that. So if it does end up getting over this, this thing could run, but I'm going to say for a nice little uh, like a swing trade, I would just like get in it now and then get out of it whenever it hits up top here because chances are it's probably going to bounce off of it unless they have an amazing earnings report. You can see right here, they just got over this trend line. So that's, that's a good start right there. And the earnings report coming up, like I keep on saying, you have to get in this before the earnings report. I think it's on, let's see here. It's on January 29th. So that is a Tuesday next week. And it's going to be, the earnings report is going to happen after the market closes. So you can stay in it, but if they have a bad one, it might drop a little bit, but I'm probably going to end up selling right at the end of the market because it's probably going to shoot up pretty good. I'd imagine right before it. I really like this trade a lot really good uh you don't have to listen to me though i'm not a, a pro expert at stocks or anything i just speak my mind and i do my own research trying to help you out so you don't have to do as much research on things but uh just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel like this video and uh let's make some money i'm out